Hey guys, we're gonna talk about the Supergirl season two premiere, full spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, all right, let's go. This was the big debut of Superman. That guy. Into that. Supergirls, into the series, into also the Arrowverse, if you're gonna really look at the whole thing. What'd you think of getting sort of the the superhero to end all superheroes onto Supergirl? I was most struck by the great chemistry he had because first of all, finally, like I know, I think I know why they didn't have him in season one and you do want it to be Kara's story, but not having Superman created more of an issue to me than having Superman. But I think they did a great job of bringing Bringing him in and showing that he's not a better superhero than Supergirl, right? Yeah. They do complement each other, and I think they they gave an interesting uh, tease of conflict for bringing him in with the Kryptonite and everything else, sort of hinted at for what's to come. Yeah, I like that they were they were partners. There wasn't he, even though she rolls her eyes at the fact that people are hero worshiping him, he's not treating her as like sidekick at all. Uh, it was great chemistry, great dynamic, and. I'll just say, like, look, I just thought this was a super like, oh, no pun intended, <laughs> but a very likable Superman. Uh, and yeah, they work great together. And I'll just say, you know, I'll take the heat for it. As someone who really doesn't like the movie Superman these days, this was what I needed, you know? This was like, no, that that's Superman. You know, everything wasn't perfect. I had some, you know, quibbles with the costume, like, you know, some people, which was very prejudged. But overall, just the demeanor, the way he acted, uh, it just felt right. Yeah, he's much more the Christopher Reeve version of Superman, sure. right? It, it was sort of that familiar, um, I don't know, like bubblegum, like pop, like very, earnest. Yeah, very earnest. Yeah. Uh, but I, I did really enjoy him. And I think, you know, obviously they took Kara in some darker directions in season one. I'm sure that they'll do the same with him. But it, what you really needed is to have those two characters click together and they do. They're such a pleasure to watch uh, saving people, yeah. which, which is really nice to have on a superhero show. Yeah, you know, I don't think Supergirl is a perfect show. I really like it, but you know, it has its issues. It has its cheesiness. But of course, uh, Melissa Benoist is always like very highly praised. I think well-deserved as being so likable. And yeah, to have a Superman alongside her that feels like the exact right counterpart for her Supergirl. I think that's what they really got I right. do think it's interesting, moving away from Superman, like we finally got him introduced after seeing him from afar, having her I yeah. am him last year. But then they dropped the, the Gotham line in yeah. there, which I thought was interesting. You know, they got Superman, are their eyes on Gotham next? <laughs> I still think that they're not gonna be able to bring in Batman. Who knows, we didn't think they'd bring in Superman. But uh, quickly, what are your overall thoughts on this premiere? Because you know, the show obviously moved to Vancouver, it's now in the CW. There behind the scenes changes besides bringing in Superman, did it feel like the same show to you? It, it definitely felt like the same show. There were some changes. I think, you know, the CGI is more CW level CGI yeah. than maybe CBS, bigger budget brand C, uh, CGI. The biggest difference for me that sort of caught me off guard is there was such a focus on the relationship and the romance with Jimmy Olsen in season one that for her to be like, you know, Oh, nah. Yeah. It felt like a very sharp turn and maybe course correct. Maybe they they weren't crazy about that, but I had I just rewatched it recently and to have her after all that, they were supposed to go on the date in one episode be like, you know, it's probably not gonna work. I it took me aback and I thought it was an interesting choice. It, it went against the cliche of CW, which is to lean into right. the romance. So, But now they can return to some will they or won't they. So, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> or bring in some other will yeah. they won't they's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, I really liked it too. I thought, you know, again, the, the show you know, has its flaws, but it's a very likable show in this premiere. Uh, there was a lot to enjoy there, and, and these super cousins. Aren't and, they and we still have Cap Grant, even if it's just for a couple episodes, it was nice to have her and, back. And Miss Tess Mocker. Yes. I love that. <laughs> uh, so those are our thoughts on the Supergirl season two premiere and Superman being introduced. What'd you think? Did you like this Superman? Did it feel like the right kind of Superman? Let us know in the comments for plenty more on Supergirl and all the DC shows on CW. Keep it here at IGN.